Hey, it's Touche. Welcome to the studio. I'll show you how we put a beat down in the watchtower today. So enjoy. Or excuse the dinosaurs, by the way. Right, two shades. Uh, don't know, that's a pretty easy one, really. I've got a brown eye and a green eye. Um, when I started singing in secondary school, you know, a, friend, a good friend of mine, Justine, had said, Oh, a great stage name for you, Two Tone. I was like, Yeah, okay, as I was supposed to be going, going to be grow up and be famous. And then I moved from London to Kent for a while. Um, and one day someone accidentally just shouted across the street, hey, two shade. And I remember looking at my girlfriend and going, do you know what, that sounds even better. So I became two shade, so from there on after, if I met someone, I didn't introduce myself as two shade instead of two tone. Alright, so here's a track I'm working on at the moment, uh, called One Last Chance, I've decided to call it. Typical kind of JLS R&B dance pop track. Um, kind of got a couple of chords down in Cubase as you can see I'm using Cubase 5 and Reason as well get some good sounds and stuff in there so yeah I mean we've come up with, we've got a bit of a drum beat uh, a couple of chords I'll let you have a listen I like get into music um, I don't know I suppose like every other teenage boy I wanted the, the, the pretty girls the money Fast cars, the kind of houses that you'd see on MTV Cribs. Eventually, it became a little bit more than that, though. I suppose it was a way of me, um, you know, expressing myself and a way of me writing down or or singing about things that I wouldn't normally talk about. Um, it was a bit like a diary entry, I suppose. Uh, I was pretty popular in school, always the centre of attention to my friends and things like that. You know, I had a lot of funny friends and everything, so it wasn't really, you know, the, the time the time or the place to really be talking about what was going on in my life. So, the songs became a good way of me, you know, just kind of noting down and, and just letting people know what was really going on. We've got a nice beat going there. Literally now we've got to just get like a nice something. It's, it's, it's still missing something, so we need a nice little melody or a riff just to bring that hook out a little bit. Um, and then we can start writing the track, which is generally how I, I make songs. So yeah, let's, obviously I've got a sound which I've preloaded because I think it'll work really well with this. It's a typical kind of dancey synth. Got that nice little delay on it so it echoes out slightly. So, just literally just coming up with a, a melody for this now. Alright, so we'll go along, along these kind of lines. Alright, so uh, we'll, 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 we'll give it a go. Um, of course, Michael Jackson. I remember being about three or four and being at the cinema to watch the Moonwalker video. Um, and just being absolutely blown away. 
I was a big, obviously, Michael Jackson fan at the time anyway, and I remember just looking up to my aunt when the lights came on and I was doing, the, trying to do the moonwalk and spinning around. I remember just looking up to her and just saying, you know, I, I want to be able to do that one day. Uh, so, of course, Michael Jackson. Uh, as I grew up a little bit, I had a good friend called Shane and Bruce Bodyface, and they were very, very into Boys to Men and introduced me to that. And I became a huge fan very, very quickly. You know, the close harmonies, the emotional lyrics, obviously. Um, so, yeah, Boys to Men, I would say Joe. Big, big fan of Joe. Brian McKnight. Stevie Wonder, of course. How could you not be? Um, but I like a bit of rock as well, so I was into a bit of uh, Bon Jovi. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's too many. I could be here all day. You pretty much follow that, that lead that we've put on there. And kind of go with it. can pretty much be the hook, keep it nice and simple, nice and catchy. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, with these type of songs, you can get away with just repeating that actually, for the hook. One last chance for love, give me one last chance for love. So just something simple like that. So I mean we've got the beginning of our hook. So you simply what am I working on right now? Um, we're at the moment, we're just finishing off the album, which is currently called Turning Point. That could change though, it's music for you. And this album kind of just tells you a lot of stories about it. It's, it's a collection of songs that have, have been done over the years. Uh, not, nothing that we've just quickly put together. Some of the songs on the album were done three years ago actually, so it includes tracks like Can't Say Goodbye, written about the death of my mum when I was in. 11, which I was a little bit peed about because it got leaked, but it's got close to 100,000 views now, so um, I'm not too mad about that one anymore. Uh, but yeah, you'll find that on the album, songs about my son, songs about relationships, breakups, the, the kind of, you know, the typical R&B kind of thing, I suppose, but you know, this, this is, they're all, all things that have happened to me. And this was, as I said, in, you know, at the beginning, the, the album's more of a diary entry of the past, say, 10 years of my life. Um, so yeah, expect to see that on iTunes early next year. One last chance for love. Give me one last chance for love. Oh, one last chance for love is all I need, all I need. So you do that, make sure it sounds nice. times make it nice and thick so just sing the same I tend to sing the same song about three times um, and have two of the vocals as backing vocals panned to separate speakers just gives it a nice feel a nice warm feel and that's what we're about to do here one last chance for love give me one last chance for love Oh, one last chance for love is all I need, all I need. You can see, pretty much sing exactly the same thing, 
we do that three times, I'm not going to do that now and bore you. So, just to give you an example, we've got three of the exact same tracks right there. Alright, so we've spent a little while, 15, 20 minutes on the song now. We've got the beginning of the chorus done and started writing the verse. We've got the first verse down and stuck in a couple of harmonies just so you've got a rough idea of how the song's going to sound. So, you go as you preview. Chance. I've been two shades. This is my studio to so get out.